Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is War Gaming in Japan. So, I live in Japan, and I'm a war gamer. War gaming, war gaming is not so popular in Japan. So, uh, this is just a video of, of advice and uh, tips for people that live in Japan who like war gaming, or are thinking of moving to Japan, and are worried about the scene. Um, the first thing you should do is join the Facebook group War Gamers in Japan. Then you can find other gamers, you can find clubs, you can f ask advice and, and ask where shops are and stuff like that. That is the first thing you should do. All right. Um, so, second thing you should do is bring your models with you because buying them here is difficult to say the least and double the price of pretty much anywhere else in the world. Um, so bring your models with you. If you can't, um, or if you just if you live here already and you're just getting into wargaming or, or you just want to buy more models, um, if there are a few options. There are some shops in Tokyo, uh, Yellow Submarine and um, Arrows, to name a couple. They sell uh, models. Otherwise, uh, Games Workshop, there's the Warhammer shop or a few Warhammer shops in Tokyo and, and other cities. They're, they're opening more all the time. Um, it's a little bit expensive, as you can imagine. Uh, also, Yodobashi Camera. Yodobashi Camera. Yodobashi Camera. It's a quite a big electronics store. They have a hobby section. In the hobby section, there is a Warhammer shelf with paints, Warhammer paints, uh, Citadel paints, sorry. Uh, lots of models and, and all that stuff. It's, it's very expensive stay away but it's very handy for buying paints yeah alternatively what i do um i go to warlord games and they offer free international shipping if you buy if you spend over like 50 pounds so what i do is uh once a, once a year maybe i will buy a whole load of paints and brushes and you know grass tufts for basing and like, all kinds of stuff like that buy all do one big order, get that ship for free, um, because A, there's more choice of paints, B, the paints aren't all dried out like they are here, and uh, C, uh, it's cheap, it's cheaper. Anyway, so apart from that, what you can buy in Japan, let's have a look, what can you buy in Japan very easily? Right, let's have a look what we got here. So, Tamiya, yeah, Tamiya, Japanese company. Uh, this is very good, it's basically green stuff here, yeah? it's, uh, although it's not really green, it's like light green. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same as green stuff, basically. Maybe a little bit thinner, um, I'm not really sure, but it is very good, yeah. This is like 1,160 yen from Yodabashi Camera Hobby section, and there's like there's four, four lots, four, so eight packs, which means, yeah. Anyway, 100 grams. Um, very good, yeah, easy to find. Next. Um, also from Yodabashi camera, yeah, Tamiya cement, you get various different kinds, you got thick, thin, uh, with uh, thin brushes, applicators and all kinds of things. Um, another thing which might be handy, uh, they got diorama texture paint, uh, not so expensive, uh, so snow effect, they got brown as well and some other colours, uh, pretty good. Um, oh, another thing which I nearly forgot, da, 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 another couple of things, wow. Bit other Tamiya products these are very good uh, weathering master looks like makeup it's basically pigment and uh, you got like a let's see if I you got like a little ladies uh, applicator to anyway it's very good you got like uh, snow soot rust loads of different colors as well um, weathering stick yeah this is for your tank tracks and, and whatever. You just scrap, the, rub it on there and it, it's basically mud. Um, so those are all the Tamiya products which I approve of. Tamiya paint is crap, don't touch it. But these products are great. Um, other things uh, which I bought, uh, buy from uh, Yodabashi is uh, this one. This is, I use this, it's like 100 yen, very cheap brush, good for applying glue or dry, even dry brushing uh, small areas. It's Tamiya model, Tamiya modeling brush number one, item eight seven zero two eight. But anyway, it's it's an it's a flat brush, so it's good for dry brushing, and you can treat it very badly. And it's uh, 
amazingly resistant. I've had this for yeah, quite. A f well, I've been using it for about six months, and I paint a lot. So anyway, it, I recommend it. 100 yen. You can't go wrong. Um, next, from again from the other Bashi camera, top coat. Um, there are different kinds. The best one is UV cut. This isn't UV cut. They run out. They run out of UV cut quite quickly because it's the best. So again, what I would do is UV cut gloss and then UV cut matte spray it. It's uh, ideal. It's so much cheaper than the Games Workshop. Anyway, uh, right. So that's all from Yodabashi camera hobby section. Yeah, ubiquitous Yodabashi camera. Um, right from. Um, from my local supermarket or 7-eleven wood glue PVA glue yeah um, so look for this one this is basically wood glue or Bondo as they say in Japan um, so yeah wood glue for doing your basing or your door doing any MDF work or anything like that wood glue do not buy wood glue from Games Workshop yeah, it's like 2,000 yen or something crazy. Right, this is just a, a few hundred yen from the supermarket. You can get it anywhere. So, wood glue. Next, super glue for sticking your miniatures together, your resin miniatures or anything like that. This is super glue again from, you can buy that 7 Eleven, yeah, uh, or in the supermarket. It's called Alon Alpha, yeah, Alon Alpha. Um, and so look for, there you go. Alon Alpha, yeah. Uh, Super glue. The different type, different types, different, uh, you know, thin, thick, gel, and all kinds of things. Anyway, uh, pretty cheap. Buy it from 7-Eleven. Uh, right. So that's 7-Eleven. From the DIY shop, the ho not the hobby shop, uh, hardware store. Yeah, that it sells like little bits of wood and uh, hammers and nails and crap like that. Um, you can get uh, primer, um, black primer, white primer, all different color primers. Most of them are gloss. Yeah. If you want matte primer, which obviously you do, you want to look for this. You want to look for this label on the lid, which means it's non-reflective matte. Yeah. So this is a white matte primer. Yeah. And this is a, a black gloss primer for. Uh, some project I'm doing which you will see later but anyway yeah make sure you get one with that label yeah again much cheaper than Games Workshop yeah this is like 700 yen yeah uh, so Games Workshop primers like 4,000 yen <laughs> ah! anyway these are the products you can get in Japan you can hobby in Japan relatively cheaply if you follow my tips anyway um, that's about it. Uh, put comments below if you've got any uh, any more products or tips that you know about. Um, if you live in Japan or if you know someone that does, um, where the shop names. If you know any shops, any clubs near you. Um, if you live in the Yokohama or Tokyo area, uh, A to Z Gaming is worth checking out. Um, that's a, a gaming club with uh, excellent facilities, nice people. Um, and it's based in Zama right now. Uh, Zama is famous for the serial killer. <laughs> but anyway, check it out. Thank you. Bye bye. Ah, two more products. Two more products that I forgot about. Right, here we go. Real touch marker. Yeah, basically in the Gundam section of Yodabashi camera um, and a lot of hobby stores. They sell these, it's a, called a Gundam marker for plastic model kits. Basically, uh, I've got a black one. The black one is the most useful for me, but it's a very fine line marker uh, at one end and at the other end, it's got like a felt tip. Um, so I use these for touching up mistakes on models. Uh, also, you could do tattoo work. If, if you're very good at that uh, or on terrain you can write with graffiti or but basically these are very useful for all manner of things uh, so I recommend getting at least the black one I use the black one like nearly every day uh, and it still hasn't run out um, also masking tape yeah thin masking tape for 
hazard stripes. I love hazard stripes. So um, masking tape. Yeah. Anyway, thank you very much. Like, subscribe, comment below. Cheers. Bye.